Robert Frost, a great poet, once said, two roads diverged in a yellow world, and so I could not travel both, and be one traveler long as turn, and look down as far as I could, to where it went in the, in the undergrowth. Basically, what he was saying is that, in life, there are always two paths, and he did not know which one to take. So he stood there, and he looked down as far as he could to see where the roads take him to, but he could not decide. He was actually scared. He was scared that if he took one path, he would miss out on the other. And he was also scared that he didn't know where the path would take him. So my friend Dan had a similar question in mind. You see, way back in Indonesia, it's like a tradition where you have to decide which field you want to get into at a pretty young age, uh, around 15 to 16. So you got to decide where do you want to go, what do you want to do, be it business, be it arts, be it sports. So she was pretty confused. And although her um, true passion was arts, she was confused between business and arts because her parents were kind of pushing her towards the business field because they said that there's no point in going all the way to America and just studying arts. You should do something with a bit more weight, with a bit more value so you can get like a job because people say after humanities, no offense to anyone, but people say that after humanities you might not be able to get a good job. So she was pretty confused, just like Frost, because she didn't know that which part to take and she was scared that if she took one part, she would miss out on the other. So I'm going to talk about an experience which kind of, you know, framed her decision on what to do. So back in uh, back in Indonesia, Dan and a friend started this NGO. It was called Food for You, and what they did was they used to go to underprivileged areas every week, and they used to give food to the children. And uh, in exchange for food, the children had to attend classes taught by Dan and a friend. So it gave the children two benefits: it gave them midday meals, and it also gave them the gift of education. So. Danda, uh, along with teaching, she was also in charge of the uh, business aspect of the NGO. She had to raise funds for the NGO, and she did this through um, selling jewelry, and she found it really interesting. And then one day, this is the thing which changed her decision, and one day this little girl from the NGO came, and she hugged her, and she was crying, and she said, thank you, thank you. Right? She thanked Danda for whatever Danda has done for her, and Danda said that she's never felt more happy, and never felt more uplifted, and alive than she did in that exact moment. So she decided that, you know, by just doing one small business activity, she could help someone in such a big way. Then by pursuing business, maybe one day she could, you know, change the world and help millions. But she still, like, she said that she's chosen the business path now, but she's like Frost, she still, um, she still, you know, she always wonders that what if she took the other path, where would that take her? But however, let me tell all of you that in life, you can't be at two places at once. You can't be doing two things at once. So whichever path you choose, stick on it and don't give up because each path is special and unique in its own way. And every, um, every path you take has its own journey and it's beautiful. And as Shakespeare said, the whole world is a stage.